Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be using my new Sienna team to play through Alt World of Carnage or Shura Realm 1. So, the idea of this team is I brought Paulo in to cover damage absorption, color absorption, and inherited Anubis' gem on Gillian in order to give me more color absorb counter should Green Manoa spawn. I have more than enough answers, I feel, to every other spawn in the dungeon, so it should be reasonably straightforward. Reasonably. So, I'm going to use Paulo to hasten everyone else and then Gremory's gonna eventually delay and the delay gives me more time to stall but the delay also gives me the ability to um, wait out the water absorb because that can be a bit of a normal possibility so we're going to delay nothing will hit me I can take my time to clear off all the non or all the Unimportant orbs, I should say. I'm gonna match some water, that's okay. Let's see this transform. I'm gonna give myself another turn, because why not? If I did the stalling delay, I might as well use it. Perfection. We have a little bit more time to stall, technically, and we're going to do that. Oh, it's going to die. I can't see how it's going to die. Okay, brilliant. Much more pleasant of a floor one compared to Shura 2 or Ruler of Hell's Hall. So by transforming one of you, both your Siennas, you are able to actually fill the first floor, but you'll have need both their actors for floor 3 after Lucifer's test. Ooh, it's a lot of green there. Thankfully, it's... What really looks like there is. Okay. Let's get there. So let's blob our combos, think of where I want to put them. Hey, I get damage reduction as well, so that makes the gravity a little less painful in the next floor. But either way, I want to use Sienna twice to give my follow-up attack, which I need. So Grimory does technically have follow-up attack super waking, that's just a remnant from before. It's not technically needed. Oh, I don't get the damage reduction. Okay, so I needed two Siennas for the hard orbs, and this would be fine. Unexpected. I'm gonna start transforming though. And then things will start dying. Okay. I don't I have my damage reduction from what's it called? Grandis. So I can just do this. Don't have to worry about the fire. Technically I was I thought I was going to have no problem on this floor. Because I could be Sienna. And I thought two Siennas would have killed it, but I guess I was mistaken. When I think about it, I should be really getting into the habit of matching VDPs instead. Because VDPs do infinitely more damage. I think I could try for row. I have a Madu hat. Unlike before, I've been having rows before. Fun fact, with Grand as a shield, you don't die even if you forget to follow up attack. That's cool too. Alright, so, flow through is a little bit more awkward than I thought it would have been, but that's okay.
Alright, I have 80% blind resist. I'm pretty confident in my capabilities. Let's use Sienna to give me guaranteed activation. Maybe I'll kill these things. This is good for me to know, like, I don't know my damage output still. These have way more health than I thought they would have. Okay, let's kill him now. So, I feel like VDP is still definitely the way to go. Mostly because I can always hit whatever threshold is necessary. Okay, turn bunch of die here, no problem. Excellent. Yeah, it's DDP. He's died. Okay, I'm gonna Gillian to overwrite this, because yeah, I deal with RCD debuffs when you don't have to. The only drawback is I get two jammers, but Grandis can kind of solve that one. Okay, looking strong. Gremory charged up for her delay. It will have to be dumped for later on. Quite a ways from now, so I am going to save Grandis' attack buff for a moment for this. So if I got the damage absorbing Dembola, I would obviously use Pollen with that. And this is attack buff comes up. But I have to dump Grimmery's Inherit at some point. Should have dumped on the previous turn and it's like, oh well. I'm here actually. I should have to have up to play 8. Hmm. You know, I can delay these things and just stall this out a bit. Because I need to have Germany's active for floor 8, like, which is after 7. Math is hard. Got to stall. Okay, so I believe if I match just red and blue, it won't kill. Nice. Okay, so when you're trying to do these types of things, always put them at the top if possible and leave little chance for a seventh combo. Two, we need one more turn of this. My goal is to make it so I don't get seven combos, which can be kind of hard. Luckily, I have enough health to tank this for a couple of turns. Make sure Gamery's up in one, we're good to go. Quite a breeze though, wow. So she's gonna make something unmatchable, which is my fear. Didn't know what it was gonna be, but there's a chance it could have been water. And that's obviously a concern. She prevents water from being matched. Pollen has overcharged, but Pollen will be delayed eventually um, when she's necessary. On thought and stuff that she does get delayed, and that's why I don't put SDRs on her if she gets delayed there anyways. So I don't have to worry about that being jeopardized. Maybe I should be rowing for this floor, actually.
Probably Rogue is good because there are multiple enemies. And there's lots of damage. Brilliant. So VDP is the best, Rogue is next best for sure. There are all 10 of my orbs available. Grandis is an 8. Gillian's about to charge up to something inappropriate. I don't need Gillian anytime soon, so I'm just going to dump it. Let me look what's coming up. Thoth soft that like I mentioned. Nothing important. Gremory needs to be kind of close to ready. Um, Gremory will get delayed a bit. Gremory has to be ready for floor 13, I feel. It makes a big difference. Four turns there. I can stall a little bit. I guess I should probably take away this. It's just not necessary at the moment. So if I don't make a VDP, I can't kill it, obviously. I still haven't got down all of this team's mechanics, so I'm still like, you see me stalling in weird ways. Just to try and juggle actives. But at least you can see how great Stalin is. So without that VDP, thankfully nothing hurts it. Grandis will be overcharged soon. I should probably get rid of it. Grammar is ready. She'll get delayed by three. I get... Let's do this one more time. No, Grand doesn't kill. will be up in one, so all I need is kill it within a reasonable time period, I'm fine. I should kill Thoth first. Ooh, that's actually quite tight. I did not expect that. Alright, let's kill it now. We'll row it down. So the row should definitely kill everything down. Damage output should be much higher. Brilliant. Grimmery's up like I said she has to be. Wasn't necessary at all. I'm gonna use Grandis to start this off just to start pushing it lower and faster. So, VDP is the way to go. That's damage. Cool. If it's the attack debuff one, I'll wait. If it's leader swap, I'll just keep activating whatever I need to. So what do I need? Halves damage with cross of hearts. Alright, so if I make a heart cross and water combos, I will take basically zero damage. So that's nice. Wait, don't tell me this is crazy. That'd be outrageous if it did. Okay, good. So I'm going to keep this system going. Go 
Is this, like... Basically, as long as it's not Pollone who gets swapped, I'm pretty safe. But even then... It doesn't matter too much. That's a lot of money. Thanks. I still can tank hits, at least. Like, because with one Sienna, you can tank basically everything. So let me think. I can definitely tank some Devils. I have three turns before I get swapped back. It's possible that thing could die within a reasonable period of time. Let's use Sienna anyways. Can I VDP and kill stuff? Like, why not? Let's try it out. Wow, that was more surprising than I thought it would be. Okay, that's good to know. Not too hard to deal with this for. Okay, we're back to our regular scheduled programming in a moment. Gillian's charged up to someone he shouldn't be, but it's okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, bye bye. Follow needs to not overcharge, so I should go a little faster here. I think I even need this color absorb counter. Not for a while. I should really just dump it. Just so Gillian can keep charging up in case I need that board. In case. Don't know if I ever would. Grimmery, what are you doing? Grimmery can just wait it out, I feel. Zeta, I Pollen doesn't have a charge. There's a damage absorb eventually. Okay, no skyfalls, it's not an issue. Give me that. I would love that Pulling Dragon. I'm gonna use Grandis to start the process a little faster. Might as well push down below Super Resolve right away. There's nothing I'm really stalling for anymore. Q. 
key is I need to keep him down at the same time. And then I can let Grandis recharge back up. But I have enough for a row, so I'll go with the row. It's nice having a backup option for what I need to do. Okay, Grandis is back up. We're good to go. Oh, got what I wanted. Okay, I can delay him, which will buy me a much easier time overall. Because then it interrupts his move pattern. And I'm curious, I just want to see how much damage I can deal with. Like. That's fine. Let's figure this out together. Good to know. So I just need to basically grind this out a bit longer and survive. But I like the delay on Grimmery for that reason. Okay, now I need to match water and blue and I'm fine. I mean, fire and water. Poison Surge from Grimmery. I normally wouldn't have this, but that's good to know. It came in handy here. I'm going to wait for the damage up to the way, and then I go crazy. I'm going to start saving Fire Orbs and Water Fire Orbs. Yeah. I mean, no Skyfalls actually helped me there. Prevents any extra connection. Poison Surge, yes. Okay, so he doesn't have his thing anymore. Let's kill it. I would be honestly surprised if this didn't die. That's a lot of damage caps. That's four damage caps I saw. Alright. So, I need to remember that there's a resolve. Grandis will guarantee I kill it. I could probably just cheese out some stalling. In the sense that, like, I'm just gonna do this. And it won't kill me, and I won't kill it. I want to get an idea of how much damage output I do as well, so... That's like a good team. I still don't know my damage outputs to this team. I'm gonna let Gillian just stay like that, because Gillian is at least a color absorbed void, which I'll need at some point. Let's see if I follow up attack and make a bit more of red combos. Okay, it's gonna be a while, it's gonna be hard to get. switches to a different color, I will try and put it. And obviously I'm going to make sure I have follow-up attack, so I'll just be mindful of the orbs I have. Maybe you go green, that'd be nice. I'd have exactly nine fire orbs, not the greatest. I'll wait till the better board. 
Like, I've gone, I've come this far, I don't have to rush. Being safe is a good thing. Smash as many fireworks as necessary there. There, this looks better. More orbs, don't be blue. Oh, even better. Follow-up attack. So that's lots of damage caps. Very dead. Brilliant. So, that's good to know. I can damage cap pretty reliably. Need the VDP in another combo. So, it's absorbing water. I have Gillian for multiple turns of that. I'm pretty confident I can kill it within a few turns. Although, I have I have four turns of Color Absorb Void, and I could use Grandis twice if I do him from the beginning. So I'm thinking maybe I should just wait for Grandis to be up, then go nuts with my color absorbs. That's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna do that. Just play it as safe as possible. damage this does. If I'm very close, then we'll see. Yeah, it might take a while to punch through all this color absorb, I feel. I don't know. So here's where I could do it, possibly. Just thinking it's the best way. How many red orbs do I have up here? Three up there. Okay, so I have enough. The key is I want to make sure I have a beauty key. Please, Gillian. Red. Red, of course. So this is the only red one there, so I'll hold the red so I know. I should use Gremory now, because I might as well benefit from it before it goes away. Combolicious, though. Doing this. I have one more turn of color absorb counter. And then I use Paulo, who has not overcharged, thankfully. Well, that's just rude. Okay.
I need Pollen for sure, otherwise this would be a problem. Um, sh I should use Grandis first for the burst, because if I use Grandis, I'd have... I don't know how the Sienna's active works. Is it going to make fire, then water, then hearts? Because I have seven jammers available if I use Grandis. If I have to use Grandis first, then Sienna. Or Sienna. But I feel like I should be fine. I'm not going to chance... I don't know how Sienna's actives work in terms of priority, who it prioritizes first to change. I don't know why I was paranoid, but yeah, I feel like this team works pretty well, considering it's the first time I've used it in this dungeon, and I have to manage active skills. It went quite smoothly. I don't think there was any single spot where I felt like I could be in danger of dying. Damage output seems pretty comfortable overall when you make that VDP. So, got the Quillen Dragon, which is actually pretty great, but the Leighton I got is just underwhelming. But Hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you can use for Sienna to tackle World of Carnage. I feel like Sienna's themselves and make and with Apollon and like something like Gremory to counter unable to match orb effects of Awoken Bind Clear and a, something of an attack buff. Like there's quite a few ways to do this, I feel. Like it's quite flexible, I feel, for Sienna for um, Shura 1. Like there's quite a few different subs you can use, and I'm confident everyone else out there who has at least Sienna could build teams that are similar or different that can tackle the dungeon. But the big differences are need something with follow-up attack, make sure you have color absorb, multiple turns of it ideally, damage absorb, with Apollo, that's plenty, Grandis was the buff, Gremory is the unable to match orb effect. If you have Usil, the goldfish girl, she could be a viable alternative as well. Same for similar active skill to Gremory. But hopefully all the fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures. Let me know what you used in the comments below, and happy puzzling.